Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Amanda. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy that you're hanging out with us today. If you've already been here before, you kind of know what the deal is. So welcome back. Hit the subscription button so that you don't miss out on future videos and make sure you ring the notification bell if you're interested in knowing every time I upload. Um, I have already moisturized and primed my face. So I used my It Cosmetics cream and I used this new Essence primer. So what we're doing today is we're just going to have a little chit chat. I'm going to get ready with you. Um, it's the first day of April. I have some new products I want to try out. I just kind of want to have a little chit chat with everyone. So welcome. So what we're going to use today is I'm going to use my Glamouflage Full Foundation Coverage by Hard Candy. Um, so I kind of just wanted to do this video. I've been thinking about it for a while now. As you know, I've been here for two months and I am very happy with the way things are going. Um, I've uploaded, I have 48 videos before this one and I'm really excited about it. Like I'm having fun. It's very therapeutic for me. I'm getting to try all the products that I want and I'm getting to share it with you. So that's really what I'm going for here. Now, um, some of you who don't know me, I'm going to just give you a little background on my makeup experience, which is going to be kind of funny because it was nothing. So three years ago, I turned 30 and I had zero clue how to apply makeup, anything really about it. I honestly, I was clueless. Like I just didn't know why I'm wearing earrings. Why did I do this to myself? So through the wonderful world of YouTube, I started Googling, I started YouTubing and I came across a couple YouTubers that really, they really taught me a lot and they taught me uh, basics so like skincare is very important so I learned lots of things that when I was younger I didn't necessarily know um, and wasn't necessarily very good at just a side note I don't know how what I think about this foundation yet it is new to me um, I might have I might try it in a couple different shades I actually like the way that it does sit on the skin it is it says it's full coverage I would say it's maybe a little bit it, it could be but it's also buildable um, I really when I wear makeup foundation especially I really just want to cover up my red because I do have some rosacea around my cheeks and I just really want to cover them up so cover it all up so back to my story um before three years ago I the only makeup I owned was one concealer one foundation maybe maybe a mascara and an eyeliner and that was it and I had no idea how to apply anything I didn't know what to do with it I didn't own a lipstick I didn't own a lip gloss I didn't own anything and it was just like I just I had no no skills when it came to makeup YouTube taught me everything I know thank you very much and like I said I found some people on YouTube who I I watched a lot of their videos I it really, it taught me a lot of confidence that I didn't used to have. Now, you don't need makeup to be confident. I am 100% confident leaving the house without makeup. I do it all the time because I'm lazy. But I love wearing makeup. To me, it is just, it's my creative side. Um, I'm not very artistic, or at least I didn't think I was. So now this is just kind of like me being the artsy one. If you would have told me before I turned 30 that I would start a YouTube channel where I am reviewing makeup, I would have laughed in your face. And I would have been like, nope. Not a chance, because I really didn't know anything. So now we're here, and you are hanging out with me, and you are doing what I just, what I wish I could have done three years ago. I really, three years ago, I wanted to start a YouTube channel, but I did not have the self-esteem to do it. I'm not sure really what changed, but really, I have a supportive husband. I have a supportive family. I have a great life, and I just really wanted to be able to do this. So thanks. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. So I don't know, what do you guys think about this uh, foundation? Cause it's like, seriously, it's so thick. It's thicker than I'm used to, so I don't know. But uh, what do I know? I'm actually, I'm not, I'm not hating it at all. So I did do my brows before this because I don't like doing that on camera. Um, actually, I just don't like doing it in general. And guys, this is the first time that I'm actually putting makeup on in front of you on camera. So that's a big deal for me because I'm actually very self-conscious when, when it comes to people watching me do it. Um, I don't know why. Does anyone else have that problem? Did anyone else have that problem when they started their YouTube channel? It's really the big thing. So yeah. So next I am going to go in with my Maybelline 
concealer, my Instant Age Rewind in the shade Light. This is usually, this is the one I use the most. So a little screw top. I'm just going to pat that under the eyes. It's going to just cancel out any of my dark circles because I have so many. I actually, um, this funny story about three years ago, I bought this concealer when I first started and I hated it. Like hated it. Didn't work for me. It made me look like crap. Um, exaggerated everything. But like I said, it's starting to learn things. So I had to start learning my skin. And my skin has never been better. Like ever. I take really good care of my skin though. Um, I do that not just because I want to put makeup on, but just because I really need to take care of my skin. I'm getting older. I wish somebody would have told, like I wish I had known that before I started having problems. Let me know below if you have the same problem. So now that I have my concealer, I'm just going to set my under eyes and the rest of my face very quickly. I'm going to just use my AOA Perfect Finishing Powder. I'm just going to take the tiniest amount. Um, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna set my whole face and then we're gonna move on. So anyone who has watched any of my other videos, you know that I do a lot of unboxings. Um, I really do wanna start doing some, some get ready with me, like my everyday makeup look, things like that. But I also do Young Living videos as well. So um, anyone who doesn't know Young Living is an essential oils company. Yes, it is an ML. It is a multi-level marketing. It's I people call it a pyramid scheme. I'm gonna tell you sort of what I where I come from when it comes to these products. Yes, if you want to get an essential oil kit, in my description box there is a link to me. Yes, I will make a commission on that. However, the big thing for me when it comes to using essential oils and using Young Living is do your research first and be comfortable with what you're using because if you're ultimately not comfortable with something you're using, whether it be makeup, essential oils, hair care, food you're putting into your body, if you don't do that research and sort of get what you want, it it, it won't work for you. Now, my story of Young Living is I have been a distributor with them for maybe, I want to say two years. It'll be two years in May, yes, so that I've been with them. Um, and I love their products. I love their oils. They are they have been life-changing to me. With a side note, I'm going to tell you something. I have had drastic changes in my mood, um, lot, lots of things like that. And that's okay. I'm just using my butter bronzer now, too, just in case you're wondering. Um, I have suffered from depression in the past. I have really severe anxiety sometimes. And it's honestly something that I have... I've adapted with and I've learned how to cope. Now, one of my coping strategies is I started using essential oils. Now, am I cured? No. Do I feel better? Yes. So that's kind of what I'm getting at. Do you do what works for you? If it doesn't work for you and you're like, essential oils are stupid, then that's fine. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, you know what? You didn't like essential oils. No, they, um, there's something about the chemicals in your brain that when you do use them, like the this, you can be brought back to a memory so easily from sense. It's ridiculous. I, I do a lot of research. I read, I read, I read, I read. I do, like, I, I don't ever want to say anything on this channel in regards to that. That's wrong. I'm, I'm here to educate. And I do that with my essential oils. Like, if I'm, if somebody's asking me about an oil and they're like, oh, hey, I'd really like to try, try, digest. This is a really good example. I had somebody who wanted to buy an entire bottle of Digize from me, and I was like, Digize smells like, to most people it smells horrible. To me, I love it. It smells like black licorice, but most people hate it. So I could have done, I could have taken, this is what I could have done. I could have said, sure, give me $54 or whatever it costs, and I'm going to order you a bottle of Digize. And I guarantee you that she would have came back and said, I do not like this at all. I, I want my money back. So what I did instead was I gave her a sample and that's what I do. Somebody wants to try something, ask me. If you're close by, I will 100% give you something to try. Um, let's just, let's see if it works for you. I've had that happen so many times where people are like, yeah, I want the kit. And then I'm like, but do you know what anything smells like? And they're like, nope. So then I'm like, okay, well, let's try this first. Like, see if it's something you like. Maybe that's not the most best, like, maybe that's not the best way to run what I would consider a part-time business of mine, but I don't, 
I like I don't want anyone to get ripped. I don't want anyone to buy something that they're not going to use. Now, I use my kits all the time. I've bought like 12. Um, I have diffusers all over my house. My kids love them. My parents do not. My husband tolerates it. It's just what it is. And I love Young Living products. That's the one that works for me. Um, yes, I do make money there. I don't make a lot of money. I, I don't, I like to pride myself on the fact that I don't sell it. That's a big thing. And I want to share my knowledge. Like that's part of why this channel is here as well. It's not just for makeup. It's also to share the knowledge of the other things in my life that work really well for me. Um, if there's a young, if you've seen my young living videos from before, you know that I do not like their deodorant at all. I hate it. I don't know what it is. I just don't like it. Um, and I don't use store-bought deodorant. So I'm using two blushes today because the first one... It gave me a little bit of color, but I really want to try my NARS, my NARS Orgasm. Um, this is this is one of those blushes that's kind of hit and miss with me. So, but it does, it's beautiful, but it just, I don't know. There we go, that's nice. I like that. Okay, I'm happy. So yeah, back to my essential oils. I love Young Living. That's just me. Um, and if you ever have any questions about anything I post, just know that I do everything I can to be as compliant as I possibly can. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that they're going to cure something because that's not what we're supposed to. Like, nobody should ever say that something's going to cure something unless they actually, like, have 100% scientific proof that that's going to happen. So we're going to stop with the essential oils talk and we're just going to keep getting back into the makeup because I am quite happy with how this looks so far. So we're going to keep on going. And what I do want to try today that's a little different, I haven't tried this product before, is my Cover FX palette. I am going to go into this shade right here. This is the highlight shade. I hope it works because I don't know, I have never used this. It looks, this is the light medium shade, okay? Sorry, don't mind the mirror. They, these are the two highlights. They just seem really dark, like, a, like really dark. So I don't know. Oh no, don't sneeze. So we're gonna give it a try. There is this brightener shade here. They say it's a brightener for your under eyes, but I think it's a highlight. I'm having a really, I'm like really indecisive right now. So there we go. I'm gonna mix them. And we're just gonna see what happens. Oh, that's nice. So I do, I do like that. I'm just gonna blend that in a little bit. And blend up. I might have overdone that, but that's okay. So yeah, a little bit more about me is, yeah, so I love makeup, I love essential oils, I love my family. Like, I have a great family. Um, I have lots of nieces and nephews. They're perfect. I love them all. Like, they're, I'm actually really close with my nieces and nephews um, because I don't have any of my own kids. I have two stepchildren that I love dearly as well, but none that are mine. So that's that. Next up... We are going to we're gonna do our eyes. So that's the thing with makeup too. You see some people who do their eyes first, some people who do their face first. It's all your personal preference. Like seriously, you do what you want. That's why I love makeup because you can just be so creative. Now, and like I, I own this James Charles palette and it was just something I was like, yes, I'm gonna get this. I'm not really too adventurous when it comes to color. I can do it. But for a day out, like chances are, I'm not really going to reach for a palette like this. But I have a lot more, I'm more of a neutral type of person as I have crazy pink fingernails right now. So what we will do today for eyeshadow is I am going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills. So we're going to start with that. Just give me a second. I got to reach something. And I don't know where it went. Sorry. So. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with this palette and I'm going to just um, as a transition shade, I'm going to go into golden ochre because it's kind of like a yellowish beige. We're just going to tap. We're just going to buff it into the crease. Um, I'm not using an eyeshadow base today because I just used my foundation and my concealer. So I'm just that's just the transition shade that I'm using. So, yeah. Sorry if I'm all over the place here. This is the first time that I've really done like a sit down and kind of get to know me. Um, so it's, it's really nerve wracking, but I'm happy I'm doing it. What do you guys think? Am I doing a good job? Leave me a comment below. 
Another thing, like, I'm really learning, um, I'm meeting new YouTubers from my area, which if you don't know where I'm from, I am from Southern Ontario. I live close to Toronto, not in Toronto. Um, like, I'm on the out, like, I'm far enough away from it, but it is the major city close to us. And so there's a lot of snow outside, even though it's April, because we obviously had to have that last storm. So yeah, so I'm, I'm meeting new people though um, through YouTube and it's just, it's been a really fun, exciting, oh my God, what did I just do? Oh, I went into the next shade, sorry. Don't mind me, why is that so dark? You guys see how dark that is? I just went in with a tap of Cypress Umber and that happened. So let's just uh, fix what I did. We're going smokier today than I thought, obviously. So I'm just gonna buff it out. Beep, 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 beep. Um, I love this eyeshadow palette so much and actually it was the first high-end eyeshadow palette I purchased which I am sad to say was over a year ago so I really want to get it like I use it all the time and I haven't hit pan in anything and it drives me nuts because I'm like these are so good but I just I like want to get there because I use it all the time so let me know if you have an, a favorite eyeshadow palette like this um, yeah, so what do you think so far? Yeah, it's a little smokier than I was anticipating, but um, nothing I can't fix. So yeah, it's actually really funny to me that I can do this now, and when and I think about it, my sisters, I have two sisters, um, and they both are way more experienced using makeup, and I like when they come to me now, and they're like, hey Amanda, what can we use for this? And I'm like, yes, that just makes me happy, because I, I like things like that. Now, um, I was going to go in with this shade Venetian Red, but I think I'm going to use Red Ochre instead just because it's so smoky. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap this right along my eyelid, like along the edge. I'm going to just tap, 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 tap. And none of these are actual, like, terms on how you would do your makeup. But... Like I said, I learned everything I know from YouTube. I have to I have to give a shout out to actually Tati because she, she is the first YouTuber that I ever subscribed to and watched consistently and I still to this day watch every single video she's posted. Um she's just one of those people. She's just very knowledgeable and I could just sit there and listen to her talk for days. So, that's who taught me lots of things now I've watched other youtubers as well she was just the she was just the first there's lots that I love though so actually leave me in the comments below who your favorite youtubers are so yeah I'm just gonna take that same color on the other eyelid and I'm just gonna dust it pat 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 just like that so now they're a little bit more even what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take a clean brush I'm just gonna buff out because I can see that I I made an error here I went a little high So I'm just gonna fix that up. Last for my eyes, because they are way darker than I thought, I am just gonna take um, Primavera. So it's this golden shade here, and I'm gonna take it on my finger, and I'm just gonna pat it on my eyelids now. I feel like my eye look is really boring, because no matter what I do, it's the exact same thing every time. Just different eyeshadow palettes and different colors that's really all I do so this is what I like to do I like to just take um, a little bit on my finger and just pat like kind of pat and press just like that how's that look very good um, I am NOT going to use a liner today because that's just really not my jam and I really don't wear a lot of eyeliner um, I'll never forget once a long time ago my sister said to me she said when you wear eyeliner all the time, your eye when you don't wear it, you look tired. And I'll now I for some reason I clung to that. And this is like my younger sister too. And because of that, when I started wearing makeup, I didn't always re use eyeliner. So that's just like one of the reasons why I don't. Um I have eyeliner, I got lots of it. It's right here. This is the one I use the most. This is my Essence eyeliner pen, but it's just it's not something I reach for all the time. Um and I am I am 33 years old, so I don't always want to because I do have some fine lines there. And if I'm going out, definitely, but for work and stuff, no. An everyday look, no. That's just me. I also 
am horrible at false eyelashes. I'm learning. I'm gonna get better at it, but right now it's just not the time for me. So this is just like, honestly, this eyelash curler. I just grabbed it at the Dollar Tree. It was $1.25, it works really well for me. So I am going to get some mascara. Where's all my mascara? That's weird. The lady who owns like 87 mascaras can't find one. That's me. So what I'm gonna use is I am gonna use my Smashbox eyelash primer to start this off. Um, I got this from Sephora actually as like one of my promos. Like I think I used my insider rewards for it or something like that. I like it a lot. Like I'm actually considering buying the full size have you tried this and have you tried other eyelash primers that work? If you have, let me know below because I really want to try them because this is the first eyelash primer I've ever used and I just find like the difference it does make is ridiculous. Like it just coats them. Can you see that? Yeah. Gives it a nice little coat. So yeah. That's pretty much like honestly there's more about me that you will learn over time. Um, I just, that's really all there is. And if you, like I said, like if you would have ever told me that one day I was going to do this, I would have laughed at you. I would have said no. I don't have the confidence to talk in front of a camera and like do that. But as it turns out, I do. And it's something I'm like, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like this is so exciting to me that I get to do this. Um, and, and I'm so excited that I get to do this and that my like, I'm being supported, so I'm happy about that. So I'm gonna use my deck of Scarlet. This is my deck of Scarlet eyeshadow. Oh, it's a mascara, it's not an eyeshadow, Amanda. Um, so I'm just gonna take this over that. Hopefully I didn't just like mess my whole look up because I've never used this primer with this mascara. So all that that I just said about loving this primer could change. Because I actually love this mascara so much if, you, if you're not new to me, you know that I love Deck of Scarlet. It was my first subscription box that I ever got. I was like, I didn't even know what it was. I was like, oh, click. It used to be um, every three months you would get a, a full face palette. And then you'd get like, I got this with one of my full face palettes. Um, I've got other eyeliners. I've got gel liners. Think I've got lipsticks, lip glosses, all that sort of stuff. But this was just one of the things that came one month and I love this mascara. However, I'm gonna tell you something, this primer, I did that, but no worries, cause I'm just gonna tug away and fix it. All better. Yeah, sorry, I'm like, that's, that's not cool at all. I'll try and edit that out. Oh, and also, like, I know I haven't really edited a whole lot of my videos, but I am trying. So let me know below if there's anything that you think I could, like, fix. So that is my finished eye look. Now, I'm really rambling here. I'm taking a lot of time to talk this through. For the most part, I can get ready in 10 minutes. This is a pretty easy thing for me to do. It's fine. Um, it doesn't, like... I can get up for work and I just know what I'm going to reach for. It's just a little different talking about it. Now, this is just something that I learned from Tati. So I'm just going to do this and I'm going to just use this as a finishing powder all over my face. Just give me a little bit of glow. Um, that's honestly all I want. It takes just something I really like to do with my really expensive finishing powders from Hourglass. So that's that. I'm going to finish up my lips. We're just going to get that done and then everything will be complete. What I'm going to use is I am going to, I hated this color for so long at first. This is my Huda Beauty liquid matte lipstick in Trendsetter. I got this from Sephora in like one of those nude lip kits. Um, and at first I was like, no, I don't like that color. It's too brown. It's very um, liquidy. But lately, the last few days, last few weeks, I've been reaching for it and I really like it so I kind of mix it with other lipsticks sometimes but it is what it is I'm sorry my lips have hated me for the last few days I am using my Avon nude eye lip liner just to line my lips I actually haven't used this lip liner in a while All right, 
Now that we are lined, I'm going to just toss this on. A little bit goes a long way and I'm glad I got this and I'm glad I tested it because I was like, hey, I, have, I don't have any other liquid lipsticks from Huda Beauty. I'd really like to try it. And then I didn't use it for so long. And now, I like it. And that is that. So this is my finished makeup look. This is kind of like an everyday go-to for me. Um, I am going to lose the headband and try and fix my hair a little bit. But yeah, I am so glad that we did this video finally. Um, it like, and that's part of the, it's part of the anticipation of what I'm doing too. Because like, this was, this was a big deal for me. Like, filming my first video, I remember it took me weeks. It took me weeks to actually like sit down and film it and then like be done. So let me know if you like this video. If you ever have any questions that you want me to answer on camera, go for it. I will probably answer, honestly. Hopefully. No, I'm just joking. Um, so yeah, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. I hope that's not the case. But yeah, this is my final makeup look and I hope everybody's having a great first day of April. The springtime is coming. I'm just so excited. So, well, the springtime's already here, but you know what I mean. So I will see you in my next video. And thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Bye.